We are gathered here today in the presence of family and friends to join Colin and Kim in marriage. We have come together both near and far to celebrate their union and to honor their commitment to not just gaze at one another, but look outward together in the same direction. Today, Colin and Kim proclaim their love to the world and we celebrate with and for them. In marriage, we give ourselves freely and generously into the hands of the one we love. And in doing so, each of us receives the love and trust of the other as our most precious gift. Marriage is an opportunity to think about love. It's really difficult to put it into words. It's a tricky thing like that. Really, love is a story we tell ourselves. It's a story that's as unique and personal as fingerprints. I can only talk about what love means to me and anybody else can only talk about what it means to them. In many ways, we talk different dialects of love. One thing I've always admired about Kim is how she marches to the beat of her own drum. However, marching to someone else's drum is actually what led this love story to begin as they met in marching band. Come on. Okay, I got one. <laughs> I turn <around>. <laughs> <laughs> Look amazing. Can I, can I, can I walk up to her? You look amazing. <laughs> Kim, you look so good. Yeah, you thought my dress would look different. I did, actually. I like it. I love it. But even as two people share that gift, it also touches the friends and family who in various ways support and contribute to the relationship. Colin and Kim, we are here with you to recount with one another that it is love that guides us on our path and to celebrate as you take this journey together. It was her match made in woodwind and wood heaven. I guess what happens at band camp doesn't always stay at band camp. I have some parting wisdom for Colin as he enters this marriage with my sister. Colin, do you take Kim to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, keeping solely unto her for as long as you both shall live? Of course I do. Of course he does. Kim doesn't settle. She is patient and would rather be without than settle for less than. Which leads her to you, a partner who loves her so deeply and without limitation, which is exactly what she deserves. Thank you friends and family for being here and helping us celebrate today. And I congratulate you both on your life together and I'm so happy. Kim, do you take Colin to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, keeping solely unto him for as long as you both shall live. I absolutely do. <laughs> That's the most important I do right there. Now I know Colin knows that a great man once said, you never know when you're ready. It's a leap of faith. Having a wedding is that leap of faith. And in some ways, it's one of the most courageous things someone can do. The opportunity to, in spite of all the doubt that exists in the world, take that step together with the courage that it is, in fact, what you believe to be love. For thousands of years, couples have exchanged rings as a token of their vows. Your rings say that even in your uniqueness, you have chosen to be bound together. Let these rings also be a sign that love has substance as well as soul, a present as well as a past, and that despite its occasional sorrows, love is a circle of happiness, wonder, and delight. 
With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Place it on his finger. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Push. Push. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> she was she was second guess. Yeah, she was trying. <laughs> now that man was a Spider Man. It's a Spider Man quote. If you like that quote, me too. But you're also complicit in my crime. Now that you have stood before me and exchanged these vows, these rings, and have agreed to be married, it gives me great pleasure by the powers vested in me by the state of New York to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Colin Gowers. <laughs> 